the deaths were, um, I, I think they were original from 1924, probably. And they looked like old school school deaths. And like old school school deaths, everyone who served on the council, not everyone, but a lot of people, signed their names inside the drawer, basically saying that they were there. But it's, it's almost kind of cute. It's because they're, they're like, they were in third grade or something and signing, you know, committing graffiti inside the desk. But yeah, those, those desks served us pretty well for, for almost a century. When I would search the drawers, I would search for names that I recognized, and there were names that I recognized, and there were also names that you would recognize because buildings or parks or streets are named after them. So, or schools were named after them as well. And they served as counselors in some cases, went on later to become mayor or um, had other significance to the community. So that, that's kind of cool. There's, there's Northampton's kind of parochial historical legacies embedded in those desks. I think the thing that appeals to me that it offers a sense of a, of a continuum. And it's reassuring to me to see their, uh, you know, Whatever impact I have as a counselor is uh, in perspective and context because there are other people who have served as counselors and that, that all, all for a variety of reasons and that, that it actually has, there's an impact, not a huge immediate impact or obvious impact, but the fact is, is that you do have an effect and that you do it in the context of working with other people and people who have done the same thing historically over time. It's not on the lines of uh, finding handprints in a cave, but <laughs> it's, it's, I suppose it's our, our, our very tiny version of that. And it has, it, we tend to think of ourselves isolated in our own time as our own selves, and we don't really think of context. And I, that's why I think that those drawers with those signatures have value.